Good evening, folks. Pied Piper here. It's uh, late at night, Saturday. I uh, feel a bit more like David Attenborough in this video because uh, when you live in the desert, you see all sorts of interesting uh, things and bugs. And, and over here on the wall, and he's been looking at me because I was trying to take a picture, so he turned his little head, is a praying mantis. I'm not going to get too close in case he jumps off the wall or something. But actually, I'm going to flip the camera and then see if I can get it. There's Mr. Praying Mantis. So, with Mr. Praying Mantis over there, I'm going to leave him alone. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's not a male that's about to mate and then get his head chewed off. Anyway, I feel like that after I've dated a girl sometimes. Don't know about you. <laughs> so, um, this may or may not turn out well. I've tried this, I've done this before, but like basically I was smoking some uh, Squadron Relieder in my Molina Pisa pipe. And I like this pipe, but it doesn't smoke great, to be honest. And, um, you know, I, I, I think it's uh, shunned upon in the pipe community to bash a pipe. You know, we, and one thing I like about the pipe community is it's positive. There's good messages. There's like messages of like... Uh, prayer and well-being when people are having a tough time. See, I don't, I don't lean back in the chair outside unless I check it with a flashlight in case there's something that's going to bite me, you know. So anyway, my battery's really low. I'll try and be quick. And inspired by uh, the Newton Piper over there in the UK, in the beautiful countryside from the looks of it, um, I may or may not add a little guitar playing. <laughs> bad, bad playing. But anyway, I might do that at the end. So I'm gonna light this up. I can't do it while I'm holding, so give me a sec. So what I was saying was, um, um, I don't know what I was saying, it was a bit random, but basically I, I had some squadron leader in this pipe uh, yesterday and um, I wasn't feeling it, I didn't let it dry enough and this pipe isn't very forgiving. So it was um, a bit too steamy and um, so I set it on the kitchen table and I saw it right now and I was catching up on some videos and um, so I thought I'd, I'd try it out. I've, I've done this before with some uh, smokes that I've left and uh, they smoked fine like the next day and others have just been like, ah, like vile, bitter, you know, that that nasty burnt flavor. Anyway, I got to light this up again, but this is seems okay. So I hope this finds everyone well and um, all over the world in the various locations that everyone is at. Um, thankfully, I have no crazy stories tonight. Doorbells ringing, guns going off, nothing, <laughs> nothing like that. There was some karaoke in my local bar. I was going to call it a pub, but it's not a pub in my local bar. Like, um, it's a friendly crowd actually, um, and. Uh, but I can't deal with the carry. I'm like in I was in. I lived in Texas for a while, on and off, and um, it was actually like uh, within the first like month I think that I was in living in America back in 1995, and we went after work. Me and a, a work colleague, his name was Jose. I lost touch with him like shortly after because he left that project early. I never saw him again. But. Um, but uh, we went to uh, like a little bar and I don't know where we were. I don't remember it at the time, but like we walked in there and they were doing karaoke. And I was just blown away. There were these like, you know, stereotypical, like out of a TV show, like uh, uh, like uh, Texans with their cowboy hats and boots and whatnot and uh, plaid shirts or whatever. And um, they st started singing one after the other, and I'm like, I couldn't believe it. It sounded just like listening to the country music channel. It was uh, incredible. Their voices, and the, it was so professional and incredible. It was amazing. Never experienced that in a karaoke bar since in 20 odd years. Um, and these were like college kids, like uh, just drunk, and it was way too loud, and I didn't have earplugs, so that was going on tonight. But uh, no craziness. Caught up with an old friend. We had some nice chats. Um, a nice chat, I should say. So, uh, so I've got no movement on uh, getting things sorted out in this house or um, the other things that I've got on my plate. Been a bit of uh, an emotional up and down week, so 
wasn't that motivated to get stuff done, but um, uh, this week should go better. Got a friend that's going to be helping me out with some things. I gotta say that's smoking fairly nice. It's okay. A little bit of the bitterness, you know, from like the burning moisture, whatever that gets in, in there if you sit it out and then try it the next day. But not like the other one. It's finally cooling down here a little bit. It's been a really uh been a bit of a rough summer for me anyway so it just felt like hotter than than previous years that I've been in the desert so anyway like I said I'd keep this short I was just checking in watching some other folks videos and uh, mainly Newton Piper because uh, I was uh, wondering what happened to him after I saw his first video about a month ago and he gave me a nice shout out and um, his music studio is coming along and uh, I love music and I've jammed on the guitar since I was uh, about 17. So uh, yeah, it was a high school friend of mine. He came in one time to school and uh, had a guitar and an amp and no one knew we played anything and we were both real nerds, not, not the cool kids. And, um, and he started jamming on this thing and I'm like, what the fuck, you gotta like teach me like <laughs> to be cool like that but we weren't cool and um so he went with me to get my first electric guitar and that was in Leeds city center england and i got a an old 80s ibanez blazer and it, it played and sounded like shit but but i loved that i've still got it it's in pieces somewhere it's in my storage unit anyway Squadron leader, eh? Always reminds me of like Biggles. <laughs> you know? I think there was some old comedy show in a, like when I was a kid on television and they made fun of Biggles and did a comedy sketch about it with like, you know, fake scarves that were meant to be like blowing in the wind that had like wire holding them in position and stuff. And they spoke with like really, um, emphasized accents like oh jolly good yes you know so i don't know why squadron really leader reminds me of that flashback to whatever that show was and biggles <laughs> so with that maybe i'll give you a little music interlude so take care folks peace out pipe on whatever no thumbs up oh, couldn't help it With a bright pipe I vibe And I'm wanted Thinking of that Dead or alive I, 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 Probably life is probably life It's all the same Only the pipe has changed And every day something like that I'll smoke it anyway Guess I'm a piper With a bright pipe I buy And I'm wanted Yeah, I want it, right? Dead or alive Some of the musical subgenius brought to you by the Pied Piper, and we'll be back.